All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about H3 because they've been getting a lot of criticism recently from their own fans. And it seems like after every podcast at this point, their fans are upset about something. And on their subreddit, it seems like every post is either somebody complaining about the podcast and something that upset them, or it's people complaining about people complaining about the podcast. And they just say people are overreacting. People are too soft. You know, uh, if you don't like the podcast, then don't watch it. And it's just pretty funny to see all this go down because this has got to be one of the most toxic fan bases at this point because Ethan spends a lot of time on his podcast being extremely critical of other people. And Ethan acts like he's the police of the internet, basically. So whenever somebody does something wrong, he will be the one to criticize them the most. And he has to outdo everyone else. He has to make the biggest deal out of it and make an example out of the person. And he thinks he has the moral high ground in every situation. So if you're gonna be acting like this, I'd imagine your fans are probably gonna hold you to a pretty high standard. And they probably think that you're gonna be open to criticism since you love criticizing others so much. So now now there are fans that want to criticize Ethan and hold him to the same standard he's holding everyone else to. Then there's fans that don't want to hear any Ethan criticism. They think he is just a perfect person and he could never do anything wrong. And it's his podcast. We shouldn't tell him what to do, even though he wants to tell everyone else what to do. So his podcast is kind of stuck between being like a politically correct, progressive podcast where everyone's just nice to each other and nobody wants to hurt anyone's feelings but also at the same time they'll still try to do some edgy comedy and they try to have this Howard Stern style podcast and those two styles just do not mix well together and on their podcast the other day there's a good example of this where these two styles clash together and some fans were upset by this and didn't like this humor and then other fans thought those fans are just being snowflakes. It was when H3 sent his employees out to film with this guy, Jimmy Lee, who Ethan used to talk about on the H3 Productions channel. And this guy, he tries to be like a comedian and he wants to be famous like desperately. And his style of comedy is basically just insulting random people on the street. So Ethan sent his crew to go film with this guy. And then they were on the podcast the next day talking about it. And Ethan and his crew, they definitely condemn what the guy was doing and what he was saying. And they said it's like not cool or whatever. But also at the same time, they're laughing about what this guy's doing. They were planning on making a video out of it. And they're giving this guy the attention that he wants. So he probably thinks that these jokes are working because they're getting him somewhere. So let's just check out some of the podcasts where they're talking about it. But Jimmy Lee, he tells shocking, often racist, just horrific uh, jokes. I'm, I'm afraid he's going to get beat up. The stuff he says to people is just beyond. Now, you guys, he's been begging us to do a... All right, so Ethan says that this guy is even saying racist shit to people. I don't understand why you'd want to have any association with this guy. It's weird to send your film crew out to film some racist old guy who's just insulting people on the street. Like, isn't it a bad look for your podcast and your crew and everything? to be walking around with some guy who's insulting random people and saying racist shit. Like if you're somebody walking around in LA and you just see this guy in the H3 crew and everything, you're like, oh, what's going on here? Like, who is this guy? And someone tells you it's a comedy podcast called H3. And then you start hearing what this guy's saying and he's saying racist stuff and he's insulting everyone. That's probably not the best look for your podcast. And even if Ethan's saying what this guy did was wrong and he shouldn't have done it, he's still sitting there laughing about it He's still giving this guy airtime. He's still promoting him. Like this guy obviously is doing what he can to get noticed and make people want to watch him. And I guess it's working. He's going to think it's working because he was making people laugh on the H3 podcast. It doesn't matter how he's making them laugh. He doesn't care if they're laughing at him or with him. This guy just wants some kind of fame. And then I pointed him out to Jimmy Lee that there's a fan in here. And he just goes up and like calls him like... He calls him fat or something. Yeah. No, no, way worse. I don't even know. <laughs> Like, see, a uh, super racist slur. <laughs> like, going crazy, dude. Ethan, and, it, it was bad. And I just... See, if you're somebody that's politically correct and you always want to criticize other people for being offensive or whatever, I feel like this is probably not a good look. And some of the fans realized this and they were upset by this whole segment because they felt like this was old H3, which is funny because H3's never changed. He's the same person. Now he just likes to virtue signal and try to act like he cares about all these different issues so he could criticize people. Like just a week before this, Ethan was flipping out about some other YouTuber doing this kind of humor, just like yelling at people on the street. And they didn't even sound as bad as this guy, Jimmy Lee. I don't think they were saying any racial slurs. 
but it's kind of rage inducing. It's like the most obnoxious video I've ever seen. Rage inducing? It is. Las Vegas with all of his friends. Oh. And just started harassing everyone on the street. Yeah, I saw. It's I saw just this. horrible. It's just it's so mean and Fucking weird. Yeah, I was I was pretty shocked by this. It's really video. vulgar. Yeah. Just at random people. Frank. So like, she should get punched in the face, right? So of course they watch this and they say it's rage inducing. They act like this is the worst thing ever. These people are terrible. It's all serious. They can't even laugh at this at all. Even though, I mean the shit she was saying wasn't even that bad. It was like just cringy and stupid. At least she's not saying racist shit to people's faces. But the guy, Jimmy Lee, that they film with, who sounds even worse than this, they they can laugh at it. They think it's funny. Ethan was laughing at the fact that he said some racist shit to one of his fans. I mean, what's the big difference here? I don't understand how you can be this critical of this kind of content, but then also at the same time, go out and try to film this kind of content and laugh at it and joke around about it. Like, are you above this stuff or not? Because this is what Ethan always does. He always calls someone out for something and flips out about it, makes a big deal about it. But then he'll be in a similar situation or he'll do something that he's criticized other people for and it'll be slightly different so people find some way to defend it and act like he is immune to criticism. All right, so I'm gonna move on to another one of Ethan's podcasts that people were upset with from the other day. It was when Ethan and Ela got into an argument with two of their employees and they're arguing about that Kim Kardashian clip where she said that people need to get off their ass and start working harder and people are too lazy or whatever. And the two employees thought that that might have been staged or like they came up with that beforehand to try to get a viral moment. And Ethan and Ela start talking about how they think there's no chance that's possible. There's no way they could pull that off. Nobody thinks that far into things. And they try to make their employees look like they're out of their minds for thinking this even though it's probably like a 50% chance that this was staged or she's just trying to get a viral moment or something, which obviously it doesn't make the Kardashians look any better. It's still just pathetic, but it doesn't seem that crazy for them to have thought this up beforehand and thought this was a good viral moment. You know, it'd be a good controversial thing to say because this has been a big talking point in the past few years. Like people need to go work or they need to work harder or stop being lazy or whatever. So it wouldn't be that crazy for them to think, hey, if we bring this up, how people need to work harder, then people are definitely gonna get upset. You know, people are gonna get pissed off. People are gonna be talking about it. So it's probably a good idea to get some attention. So let's check out this little argument that Ethan and Ela have with their employees about this whole Kim Kardashian situation. I think this is highly calculated. I think they're saying this to get publicity. I don't. I think she really believes believe that. It. I don't think so. I don't get. I don't think people. I, I don't think you can plan like viral moments like that. No. I, they, I, I don't think billionaires. she. Billionaires. They have staff on I, staff writing this shit. No, their staff I doesn't swear. know shit. I it start, doesn't I work like love that. on this one. I think. Yeah, Kim Kardashian's staff doesn't know shit. That's why she's the most famous person on the planet. Like, obviously, these people know what they're doing. They know how to get viral moments. They know how to get people's attention. It's not that crazy to think that this could be set up. But it sounds like Ela doesn't want to listen to it. Like, there's no way she'll believe it. And a lot of people noticed it from these clips that it sounds like Ela's ego is just getting out of control. And she's acting like she's a big-time celebrity now or something. And she thinks she's on Kim Kardashian's level. Because as you'll see here in a sec, she starts talking about how there's no PR team out there that could pull this off. And her and Ethan act like since they're in the entertainment industry, they know what they're talking about more than their employee. People no, but it's like I want to say something that is going to be perceived as stupid so that people will talk about it. Yeah, fully believe that. Think, think the other way around. Wouldn't these rich people have people saying that's a bad thing to say? That's going to be... No, because they have a bunch of yes people around them. Look, they're Kanye the is surrounded by yes people. I'm sure she does too. He yeah. thinks it's smart. And I mean, have you ever tried working with like an agency? Those people don't know shit about nothing. See, she's trying to act like, oh, I've been around the PR agents. I, I've talked to these people. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know shit about nothing. And since her employee here hasn't been around these people, then they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Even though I'm sure Ela has never been around the people that Kim Kardashian has been around. Like Kim Kardashian is on another fucking level. 
Ethan and Ela, they are peasants compared to Kim Kardashian. And the Kardashians have been doing this forever. They probably don't even need an agency. They are the agency. Like her mom, I'm sure they discuss all this stuff together. And I'm sure they come up with ideas on how to get people's attention and think about what can get the most views and what could go viral the most. These people have been doing this forever and they're such a big part of the culture that I'm sure they know how things go viral and they know how to get people's attention. Like I think Ethan and Ela talk about them basically every podcast at this point. So they're doing their job. They, they know what they're doing here. Thought about this whole thing being fake with Kanye. That's very crazy to I say I know, but so. not. What she's fake fucking Pete Davidson? Huh? Like no, the drama maybe is that fake. no, I mean that would be even further. But but I I've thought these things and I think it's possible. I mm. ha I have two loves, so let me. What? I'm with love. I I agree. I don't want to say too much because I'm not in the mood to be canceled this weekend. But yeah, I think some of it was planned. I'll stop it with that not being canceled business. I love how their employees scared about getting canceled. That's hilarious because their podcast is so toxic. They know their fans are rabid. They're looking for whatever they can to get angry about something. And they want to call everyone out for doing something wrong because that's what Ethan does. So they all just try to do what Ethan does. And then Ethan gets mad at them. It's like, what do you expect? And then also, Ethan can't have on a lot of guests now because they probably don't want to come on because the fans are so crazy and they'd probably be nervous about getting canceled or something. Like just this episode, they had on this girl who like read people's signs or whatever and she was into astrology and apparently all these H3 fans started giving her shit after the podcast and sending her hate. And then also, they had on this weird like peanut butter guy and this shit was creepy. Like I don't know why they had this guy on. I mean, this guy could have been playing a character or something, but apparently he has videos on TikTok of a peanut butter jar right after he stuck his dick in it or something. And Ethan and Ela and all their employees thought this was hilarious. But to me, it just seemed creepy. Like, I have a good sense of humor, but this didn't really seem that funny. It just seemed weird and creepy. And also he talked about how he, like, he referenced having sex with girls that are like virgins, like how he likes to do that or something. And then later on, on the subreddit, somebody posted a whole thing talking about how he allegedly groomed her or something like that. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on with this podcast anymore. Because this segment with this peanut butter guy just seemed like really creepy. And nobody thought it was that creepy. But I guess, I mean, he could possibly be playing a character and he's just trying to seem creepy or something. And somebody maybe just made up this story about being groomed. You know, that's totally possible. I'm not trying to say that this guy is actually a creep, but I was just surprised they had this guy on the podcast and they didn't think his behavior was concerning at all. All right, so back to the whole Kim Kardashian thing. But to say that Kim calculated this, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what it, how to explain that thinking that you guys have. It's like overly paranoid. I mean, I just don't think the world is that set up and you want to believe it, but it's not. It's just not. I don't think it's overly paranoid to say that Kim Kardashian did something for attention or like scripted something, some moment to go viral. And it's funny because Ethan has definitely done stuff just for the attention. Like when he took down the Jordan Peterson podcast and posted that tweet about it, that was definitely just for attention. Like taking down the Jordan Peterson podcast, what was the reasoning behind that? I mean, I know he said some bullshit, like, he didn't want his fans going back and maybe, like, listening to Jordan Peterson taking him seriously or something, or he didn't want to be associated with him, but I think that's all bullshit. I mean, he still has podcasts up with Chris D'Elia and Shane Dawson and Keemstar, I think. So, taking down the Jordan Peterson podcast, I, th I believe he only did that just so people would talk about him, because he knew everybody on the right would talk about it, he knew people would get pissed off, and it worked. A lot of people were talking about it. I think it was trending, and like news companies were talking about it. It was a big deal, so I'm pretty certain that he just did that for attention. Like, why take that one down, but you don't take, even like the Trisha Paytas ones, like, there are some insanely offensive, anti-Semitic, like, racist stuff within the Trisha Paytas podcast, the Front of Me's podcast, that Ethan still has up and he doesn't care about, apparently. There isn't, I don't think there's out there, like, PR geniuses that are, they can calculate they don't so exist. much. It doesn't exist. They're fucking incompetent. Whenever All we've tried to talk to anybody like that or work with... It's like you you really learn that you know way better than all of them. There's no teams. There's no PR teams thinking of genius shit to get her attention all day. 
They're morons. Yeah. They're all morons. There's no, f there's no conspiracy. I don't think it even necessarily needs to be a PR team. Like I said, it could just be Kim and her mom and close friends or whatever that they've been with forever that understand what goes viral. I don't believe they even need a PR team. And I feel like with Ethan and Hila arguing with their employee here, it's a weird dynamic because this is their employee and also he's like a super fan. So he's obsessed with Ethan and he loves his work and he probably never wants to upset him or whatever. So it's hard to argue against your boss and a guy that you've looked up to forever. And Ethan and Hila start to try to make it sound like these two are just out of their minds for thinking this. You're like, how do you go through the world that. thinking that all this stuff is... People are out there thinking of how to manipulate you. It's just not the case. I'm I telling mean, you. Not with Sometimes it is. But the world is just I mean, not that functional. I what are you talking about? People try to manipulate each other all the time. And Ethan does it every podcast. Ethan's always trying to manipulate his fans. I'm telling you. I mean, it's all fucking chaos out there. Like this, yeah. But this is the most like famous family in the world. It hey, doesn't matter. They're, they're not competent. It what doesn't matter. I, like, again, I'm not saying for sure one way like or another. I feel like we've seen saying... enough mm -hmm. to tell you that like... I love how angry they got there. Like, he just brings up that they're the most famous people ever. And they're like, it doesn't matter. They're incompetent. They don't know what they're talking about. And then they tell him that they've seen enough and that they know for a fact that this is not scripted or whatever. It's like they think they're actually at the level of fame that the Kardashians are at. And it's funny because I feel like they're always just upset with AB, this employee that they're just yelling at. I feel like they're always mad at him. And it's kind of a stupid argument they're making here. They're pretty much just saying, hey, we're in the industry. We've been around PR teams. We know that this is not scripted. And and you guys never been around these people, so you don't know. Yo, these, I mean, it's like, it's like 9-11 was an inside job thinking. They're, they're not, it, people are not that competent. <laughs> Nobody is planning that. It's just not possible. Let's, people are not competent. I'm, I'm not accusing you of that. <laughs> okay. I'm not accusing Good. you of that. I'm just speaking to this. So now he compares it to thinking 9-11 was an inside job. I mean, he is trying to make his employees look like fucking maniacs here. Thought that people are having where it's like oh it's fake oh it's planned oh it's fake i mean it's the same skeptic it's the same paranoia in a way that leads to really crazy conspiratorial thinking i'm not accusing you guys of that obviously there's a huge difference between the two but all right so as you can tell they're just making their employees really uncomfortable and now the other employee has to like backtrack and say like i only was talking about this because it's the kardashians i'm not saying anybody else is faking things because ethan and Ela are trying to paint him out like he's this crazy conspiracy theorist and this stuff is just ridiculous to even think of and it can damage people's reputations and a lot of people obviously had a problem with this stuff on the subreddit and they said that ethan and Ela were just way off here and this was a bad take but then, of course, there are fans that are like, oh, what, they're just having a back and forth discussion. They're just having a little argument. Like, yeah, it wasn't terrible what's going on there. But the way they talk to their employees, you can tell they just look down on them and they're not going to take them that seriously. And they're getting way too worked up about this. And usually their employees are just yes men. You know, it's funny they criticize Kim for just being surrounded by yes men because they're the same way. Like, all they do is hire, like, massive fans of theirs. Of course, they're going to be yes men. But the one time they say something, they speak up and they disagree with them, they just rip them apart. They try to say they're crazy conspiracy theorist people and they're just like out of their minds for thinking this stuff. So it's probably going to make them nervous about disagreeing with Ethan or Hila in the future because this is the way they treat them when they disagree with something. All right, so that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.